We'll do it live. F*** it. To your point, I did like Stern John's first incarnation of his podcast when he had that guy Royce with him. That guy Royce kept him on track, you know, and he kept him focused and he kept this Stern stuff balanced. And I think John screwed up by somehow, you know, when Royce left, that I think the dabbling started and it, it's just now it's kind it's of too easy. This, what do you mean? It It's just too easy to make fun of that guy. He's he's a, he, you can see the guy is really fucked up his life. <laughs> There's no I know. doubt about it. I mean, a guy has been handed yeah. everything in his life and he just pissed it all away because he's stupid. He's braggadocious. Yeah. Yeah. His ego is the reason why he's living in a one bedroom apartment right now. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. You know he could, you know he could have bought himself a nice three, four hundred thousand dollar home back in the day, in the valley, and saved all his money. But no, he decided he had to get a Hollywood mansion, and yeah. he just pissed yeah. everything away. He did, but does he need everyone reminding him of that? No, he doesn't. He... And, and him going online every day has done nothing but ever ruin anything for him to ever do anything in the future with anything. I know, I know, I, and I've said that. He, the moment he turns on the computer and, and goes live, he just gives, he hurts his reputation even further, and he just gives his enemies just anything he says is just fodder for, for, and it's his own, in, in a way, it's his own fault. But now he seems to be embracing it and performing more so than he was, say, a year or two ago. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like the whole Bergada thing that happened in the Dabbleverse, since we're kind of talking about that. I, of all these people, I would go see John before I'd see anyone else. People can make fun of John all they want, but I guarantee you, every even his haters wanted a picture with him when they went there. You know, everybody would want a picture with him. He is the tra he is the main attraction. He's a star. I mean, he's the he star might. of the whole thing. Without him, there's no Dabbleverse. Yeah. It's not all these groups of, of yeah. people talking shit to each other. And I, it's it's professional wrestling without the wrestling. That's what's going on. You don't sit and talk shit about somebody for six months and then sit in a picture with them and tell everybody it's a work. I know. I know. I think that hurt. I, I think that hurts things, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's the thing. You don't know what's a work and what isn't. And and I think that's where Shuli fucked it all up with all his works. I think that's I like I like real real tension. I like real I, I like Kevin Brennan because I think he's real. I really do. I don't think he's doing a work. I think as cra crazy as he sounds, at least it's authentic to me, in my opinion. Hey, Kevin Brennan played the nice guy. Kevin Brennan shook everybody's hand, was a nice guy for a long time. And then the day he went on uh a Jim and Sam and started trashing everybody, his brother and uh, Nick Swartzen calling him gay and all that, and just unleashing on everybody. That's the day Kevin Brennan became Kevin Brennan of today. Burning bridges. He turned it into a semi brand. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, he's, 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 he's been around. He is a name. Uh, the fact that he isn't doing better than he is is kind of surprising. But, you know, he's, he's doing all right. He's making enough money. I, I would say that the second person people want to have a picture with would be Kevin Brennan, in my opinion. You know, um, some people might say, no, it'd be Tukey or El Harible or Melton. But I don't know, man. I think I'd, I'm just talking from my own personal thought. My own person is I would want a picture starting John first, Kevin Brennan second. You know, I don't need a picture with any of them, to be honest with you. But, you know, I'm getting that. We know the Mount Rushmore, the Dabble versus. Of course, it's Kevin Brennan. Of course, it's uh, uh, Stuttering John. It's Carl. Unfortunately, that horse tooth jackass uh, from WATP. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and, you know, the, the two other spots go to who? You know, Shuley's the other guy, I guess. And, uh, yeah. And yeah, there's, really on it. you know, then, then you got other, you got 36 other shows fighting for that last spot. No one's captured it yet. Um. Yeah, he would. I would have to say Cardiff or El Harible. You know, but the thing about Cardiff, if I noticed, is he's a horrible, horrible uh, host. He's a horrible producer. 
He is the shit. He can't. His own shows are fucking terrible. But as a guest, he's a gold mine. He's yeah, a guest. Yeah. He's a podcast guest. I agree. He's not a I podcast. Agree. He's like a. He's like the Don Rickles of the Dabbleverse. <laughs> I agree. I, I agree with you 100. percent Disjointed, all over the place. You know, yeah. and I, I you, you, there's a lot of bad shows out there, and you know, sometimes uh, I can't, I just can't handle it. I have to say something about it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, honestly, none of them are really good shows. <laughs> I mean, who, I, as much as I enjoy hearing Kevin Brennan sound like a Karen and just laughing at him, um, is, I mean. I did a show. I did a show uh, a few months back where I, I compared Kevin and his brother, mm-hmm. and it's like if Kevin is making Kevin, suppose he's making more money than his brother on the podcast, but yet his brother can has 4K quality and actually puts together really nice, well produced. Why can't Kevin do that? That drives me crazy. If, how much more money could he make if if he actually uh, gave a shit about what he's doing? He just know. gets on and makes fun of uh, Melton. You're a fag. <laughs> uh, Super yeah. Mark, you suck. You suck. You suck. Uh, broccoli. Thank you for the hundred dollars. Broccoli. Broccoli. <laughs> David yeah. Chandler. Dave, I find thank him, you. Uh, I just find him funny. I don't know. It just his voice alone cracks me up. When he was going, um, hey Bob, hey Bob, you looking for me? You looking for me? Bitch, <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. Just say, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm, uh, I get it though. I'm trying I to say no... it's not a good show, but I watch it and I'm entertained by it. But yeah, I, if he put production value into it, I, I don't know. I don't know if the content would be strong enough to match that. I, he's just, he's really good at talking shit about people. He's really good at it. That's his strength. Yeah. That is a strength, and I like hearing it. I really do. I'm not saying he's rational. Sometimes people's irrationality is what makes them funny. 